May your heart be embraced by the warmth of the sun's love. May fleeting clouds swiftly vanish, leaving only clear skies in their wake. Wishing you abundant blessings for a splendid morning and an entire day filled with positivity. Your radiant presence brings joy to those around you, and for that, we are truly grateful. May this blessing reach you, carrying the hope that your morning is prosperous and that success accompanies you in all your endeavors throughout the day. Father Jim Blunt has just warned humans about the danger of December because he received the message from Our Lady last night. An unusual phenomenon is currently unfolding in the world, foretelling an imminent and drastic transformation. The atmospheric conditions seem poised for a sudden alteration, and there are ominous signs suggesting that the sky itself may undergo a significant change shortly. This foreboding alteration, it is believed, will lead to the submersion of entire countries beneath rising waters. Additionally, a peculiar and mysterious disease is predicted to emerge, casting a shadow over the month of December. To ensure that as many people as possible see this video, kindly take a moment to share this video and subscribe to this channel. May this message touch your heart and help to bring you close to the conversation of souls and the conversion of sinners. If you believe so, please type Amen. Commencing each morning with a heartfelt breath of prayer sets the tone for a day abundantly adorned with blessings. This sacred practice, ushering in the dawn, serves as a spiritual foundation, paving the way for a day filled with positivity in divine favor. Before delving into the central theme of the forthcoming video presentation, let us take a collective pause to join in prayer, O Holy Spirit, Divine Comforter and Guiding Light, we humbly come before you, seeking the warmth of your Divine Presence to fill our hearts and minds. As we bow our heads in reverence, we open our souls to your sacred energy, inviting your grace to dwell within us. Breathe into us, O Spirit of Truth, and lead us along the path of righteousness. Illuminate our minds with the brilliance of your wisdom, that we may discern the way forward amidst the shadows of uncertainty. Come, Holy Spirit, like a gentle breeze, and refresh our spirits. Kindle the flame of love within us, that it may burn brightly and radiate warmth to those around us. Strengthen our resolve to live according to the teachings of love and compassion that you inspire. Grant us the courage to face challenges with unwavering faith, and the serenity to accept that which we cannot change. Guide us in our decisions, that they may be aligned with your divine will. Lord Jesus Christ, Take all my freedom, my memory, my understanding, and my will. All that I have and cherish you have given me. I surrender it all to be guided by your will. Your grace and your love are wealth enough for me. Give me these, Lord Jesus, and I ask for nothing more. Amen. Father Jim Blunt, a venerable spiritual guide and shepherd of the faithful, earnestly shares a solemn warning with humanity, cautioning them about the impending perils associated with December. This profound counsel stems from a divine revelation bestowed upon Father Jim during a sacred encounter with Our Lady in the hallowed hours of the previous night. In the wake of this celestial communication, Father Jim feels compelled to convey a message of paramount significance to his fellow humans. The gravity of his words carries the weight of spiritual insight and divine foresight, urging individuals to be vigilant and contemplative as they approach the imminent challenges that December may hold. Now, the message will be shared with all of you, beloved children of my heart, my son bears the consequences of every deed and action that goes against his will. The time has come for my children to be blind, deaf, and done to appease those who are not in harmony with the divine will. They will no longer see, hear, or preach. In December, Medjugorje will witness the most massive storm than ever, 
it can submerge this place in just 15 minutes. December will wrap the pretty village of Medjugorje in its cold, wintry blanket, snuggled between hills and old buildings. People will start talking about a big storm coming that the village has never seen before. This village is usually calm and is famous for being beautiful and special to people in a spiritual way. But soon, it will become the unexpected stage for a wild and fierce night of nature's angry weather. When the sun sets, painting the sky with colors of orange and purple, the air will feel tense. In Medjugorje, it will seem like even the ground knows that something big is about to happen. The people who usually enjoy the gentle winds from the Adriatic Sea will look at each other with worried faces. That night, there will be distant rumbles of thunder, telling everyone that a storm, unlike any they remember, is on its way. The winds will start to get stronger, playing with the old olive trees and sharing secrets with the tall cypress trees. The air will feel charged, and a strange light will cover everything as lightning flashes across the dark sky. I come to call you to spiritual change and to ready yourselves to soothe hunger and cold because my son loves you and this mother and instructor love you too. Keep spiritual books that you must own and print as prayer books in your houses. You are moving through a pitch-black environment that will eventually envelop the entire planet, in the meantime, everything will be illuminated by the heavenly light. I love you, I bless you and protect you. Genesis 6 verse 17 I am going to bring floodwaters on the earth to destroy all life under the heavens, every creature that has the breath of life in it. Everything on earth will perish. This verse is part of the narrative of Noah and the Ark, where God informs Noah about his decision to bring a flood to cleanse the earth of wickedness. God instructs Noah to build an Ark to save himself, his family, and representatives of each kind of animal. The flood, as described in the Bible, lasted for forty days and forty nights, and only those aboard the ark survived to repopulate the earth. Now, as we gather together in this sacred moment, let us unite our hearts and minds in a collective spirit of prayer. Let our thoughts transcend the boundaries of individual supplication as we join hands, both in the physical and spiritual sense. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee, Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord, be it done unto me according to thy word. Thank you for watching till the end of our video. Our brothers and sisters, without fear and with more faith than in the past, let us continue in faith. Stay blessed and continue to pray for God to show all of us His graces and blessings. God bless us and protect us. Amen.